Good morning, friends. As Peter already reminded you, this is Gertie the Gear Girl. And I introduced you all to her last week as a reminder that we individually are members of the body of Christ. And each one of us has a purpose and a plan within the body of Christ. We have something to contribute, something to do, a role, a purpose. And so if you see me turning this gear down here, you see that all the gears turn, right? But if I were to take, let's say this one away, which is about the hip joint, I can turn this foot and you can see that most of the body is still spinning, but we're missing that other leg down there, which is not what we want. We want as much of the body working together as possible because that is God's plan. Now, last week we were talking about our individual roles as the body of Christ, as members of the body of Christ. And this week, I want to teach you the lesson that we as a church are a member of God's church with a big C, is what we say. And so each of these gears could be representations of individual churches, like our church, and Peakland Baptist, and Peakland Methodist, and Rivermont, and St. John's, and all the other churches that you've seen around town and everywhere else. We, as individual churches, are members of God's big church. And as followers of Jesus Christ and believers in God, there are two big rules. Love God, love others. If we do that, we really are working to be the fully operating body of God, which is pretty cool, right? So each gear makes up this one body. So we individually are making up the bodies of Christ. But if you take it to another scale, each of these gears is an individual church making up God's church. It's similar to the idea that you are a member of your family, whatever that family unit may look like. And then your family is a member of your neighborhood, whatever that looks like. And your neighborhood is a member of your community, and your community a member of your city, and so on and so forth. So there are really small parts making up a big part. And I had a really smart friend point out that if I were to take away, let's say this one here in the middle, what happens? Every other gear that's on here is still spinning. It's still working, but it's missing something, isn't it? There's still a hole. So again, we each individually have a role in the body of Christ, and each of us as a church together have a member in God's church, a role in God's church. So I want you to remember that as you go through this week. Not only are you a member of uh, the body of Christ, but you're a member of this church and a larger part of God's church. 